Hello and welcome to ProTechReviewGroup.com. I know it's been a while since we've had a tutorial, but we're back. We're going to have a series of tutorials coming up, and we're actually working on a new project right now that is a, a going to be a new YouTube page, and it's going to take a little bit of a different approach um, into the world of videography, and we're really excited about it. We're working on coming up with a good name right now, so when we have more information, we'll post it in the info section below. Um, so let's get going. Today I wanted to talk about the new remix feature in Adobe Audition CC with the November 2015 release. Um, it's a really cool feature. So one way to do things is um, when your video is done, if your audio is still going, you can just fade it out. And that's a common thing you see, but it doesn't have the flair that actually ending the piece does. So I spend a lot of time either looking for a piece of music that's the right length or editing music to get it to the right length. Um, I have a background in music. I'm actually a music teacher. Um, so music editing has never been that hard for me. I can match beats pretty well. Um, and I've always done it pretty well. But this will save so much time. And it will also help a lot of other people out there who may not be so good at um, editing music. Um, inside of Adobe Audition, I have a piece opened up called The Wedding. This is from audiojungle.net. Check them out. It's a really cool site. I have licensed to this piece, in case you're wondering. So the wedding, by default, when you download it, is about a minute long. A minute and nine seconds, actually, if you look at the info or the properties panel. But let's say my video is 30 seconds long, and I need a 30-second piece. Well, here's what you're going to do. First of all, in order to enable Remix, you have to have your piece loaded into a multi-track. So I'm going to click on multi-track and create a new multi-track session. I'll just call it remix and save it to the desktop for now. I would not normally save to my desktop, but for this I'm going to. And I'm going to drag the piece into my multi-track. So now, like I said, it's about a minute long, and let's say I want it to be 30 seconds. Well, in the properties panel, you'll notice a new button, actually a new tab called remix. And we're going to click this blue button that says enable remix, and we're going to let it analyze the clip. And for a minute long clip, my system it's been taking about five seconds, um, so it's done already. It's pretty quick, not too bad. So the next thing to do is to take our target duration and enter a duration. So I'm going to take it to 30 seconds, and I'm not going to worry about the milliseconds. I'm just going to leave that alone. So when I click away, you'll notice almost immediately it comes up with edit points. Now I want to point out when I zoom into the clip, once you've enabled Remix, at the very corners of the clip here, you'll notice some little squiggly lines which show you that um, Remix is enabled. Well, as you look at your piece then, you'll see that Audition has created two edit points which are represented by these squiggles right here. So if we have a listen, you should notice that it's a, they're pretty clean cuts. They do a really nice job crossfading when they have to and, and cutting right in. So let's have a listen. Here we go, right here. Okay, so you probably didn't even notice anything happen there. It did a really nice job, like I said. Um, I'm gonna choose a different duration, such as 45, just to illustrate a couple of things here. Let me click away, and it created now four points. Now let's say I don't want four points. You have the option of changing your edit length. So if you take a look at the tooltip, it tells us that Remix uses more edits and segments closer or if you drag it to the other end, it can use less edits and the edits will be farther apart. So again, have a listen. Okay, I wasn't real pleased with that one and that's what I was trying to illustrate. Um, so you may have to play with your settings, particularly if you're using a song with um, lyrics. Um, when they're singing, it doesn't always match words up very well. So. I've had good luck with it in the last couple days, and I've also had bad luck with it. Um, if I drag my mouse to the end here, you'll notice that my piece is 46 seconds long, and I specified 45. And that's because right here it tells us it is analyzing and looking for plus or minus 5 seconds. And that's as close as you can get, plus or minus 5 seconds, without enabling the stretch, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, if you want to adjust that higher, though, if you don't care as much, say... Um, you want a fine-tuned edit, but you could say, um, let's do plus or minus 15 seconds, and it will update the piece 
um, and have maybe more pleasing edits. Um, I'm going to put that back to 5 because I want to show you the stretch here. I'm going to put my cursor right at the end of my piece here and watch the time. It's 46 seconds and I'm going to enable stretch to exact duration. And now when I stretch that down, stretched it down in this case, I am now at 45 seconds um, 0.244 which is exactly what we specified and again those edits should be fairly clean. I'm not going to play them at the moment. One issue with the stretch to exact duration is I've noticed some um, audio artifacting, some, some uh, sampling issues. So I actually don't like it. I don't mind the extra second or two. So I'm gonna, I usually leave it turned off. Um, but let's take a look here at the other options real fast. We've got features. And features basically tells Audition what to preference. If you have it all the way to the right, it tells it to, to look for harmonic matches. It tells it to look for harmonic matches versus dragging it all the way to the left. It tells it to look more for timbre matches, the timbres of the of the sounds, which in this case doesn't make a drastic difference. And then the minimum loop tells um, Audition that any of the segments that are left intact should never be shorter than eight beats. So for example, this section here should never be shorter than 8 beats. And you could change that. And this is where I haven't played with it a whole lot, but it might come in handy when you are looking at uh, pieces with words. Maybe you have a weird jump. You could increase this to 16 beats or even 32 beats and see if uh, maybe that fixes your, your issue. There's one more neat thing I want to talk about here. I'm going to reset this to the default. And I want to show you that not only can you shorten pieces, but you can also lengthen pieces. So our original piece was one minute long. Let's say I want um, two minutes and 30 seconds. Click away, let it do its thing, and now I have a piece edited to two minutes and 30 seconds. So if we have a quick listen to see what it did, it left quite a bit of the piece intact here. So let's see where the edit happens. Okay, not bad. So that is Adobe Audition's Remix. I hope that you find use for this. Um, I hope it'll help a lot of you out. I really am excited that they've introduced this feature. And um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.